I took a walk around my island. I passed by the penitentiary and felt nauseous at the thought of the filth it contained. I looked out over the Gotham Bay, and in the distance I saw lights. No doubt boats bringing more filthy degenerates to my city. I swore again to protect her from this darkness. Challenge is too great for me. I'm losing patience. You're cheating. You must be!
doing this alone. Who's helping you? Are you up to the challenge? I argued with the latest group of young, eager doctors. They bored me with theories and ideas, proving that they had no theories on how to cure these animals. Only one shared my vision. I offered her the chance to explore her dreams. She accepted. We'll make a good team. Good evening, Stephen. How are you tonight? 
I'm conducting the session, gentlemen. Of course. If that helps you cope, I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's talk about the events three weeks ago. What did you think you'd achieve? Dr. Murphy is still in therapy. I wanted to understand him. His personal demons, his fears. It's all quite fascinating, really. But you are... were a respected doctor. A brilliant mind. Now just another resident in Arkham. Can I have a drink? A strong one? This kind of question bores me. I'm afraid not. Interesting choice of words, Doctor. Tell me, what are you afraid of? The Gotham police dragged a new patient to the island. They said he was responsible for the disappearance of hundreds of the city's vagrants. As I looked at his disgusting body, all scales and teeth, my mind ran free, dreaming of delicious punishments to break this monster. Doctors gathered around, poking it, examining, but only I knew what would cure him, once and for all. the detective who is only halfway to the end. Loser?
is quite sane, just evil. He takes no interest in the people he has hurt. His research appears to be the only motivating factor in his life. What is it about fear that drives your obsession? Fear drives everything, Stephen. Everything. Your life is governed by fear. Every decision you make is a product of that fear. Don't be ridiculous. You married your wife. Margaret, isn't it? Because you were scared of dying alone. You have children because you're scared of leaving nothing behind that really matters. You go to the doctors because you're scared of dying. Do I need to go on? No. I think that will be all for today. Guards? Can you defeat a mind such as mine? beginning to impress me, Batman. You may still reach a level just below my genius one day.
hundred minds. It should only be a matter of time before... What? Give it up. Now! How... How are you still standing? How come it's not affecting you? Who says it's not? I knew it. What was it like? What have you seen? Officer Cash, get this formula to the air conditioning system now. You failed, Crane. Again. I've been working with Dr. Kellogg in creating an antidote to the toxins in your cologne. He fooled you, Crane. How does that make you feel? Threatened? Humiliated? Scared?